<laughs> well, you mentioned cheap ways to get around the city. A lot of people use a bike, and yeah. the, the city bikes, we see them all over the place with the docking stations and stuff. Yeah. But now there's this new scathing report that we've been following from the comptroller's office here in the city in regards to city bike, and specifically what is going on in some neighborhoods. The bottom line, what we've been able to find, it's, it's unreliable in a lot of areas. Let's dig deeper here. The report from Brad Lander, the comptroller, analyzing data from last June and July. And this report found that some riders can't return their bikes because docking stations are simply full. Yeah. Others show up to completely empty stations or find broken bikes. Yep. The report says the worst really affects mostly black, Latino, and low-income communities. And that just shows just how not equitable it is. This is according to Brad Lander. Um, some of the worst problems um, that were cited were found in Brooklyn. Sunset Park, Flatbush, Crown Heights. Uh, the Bronx, meanwhile, had higher rates of unusable stations compared with other boroughs. This is important news because City Bike continues to grow in popularity. 30 million trips were logged by riders last year, a five-fold increase from its 2013 launch. We saw how much it costs. We were looking at that um, in the break. Just it, It's something that's pretty affordable for people to use, so a lot of people use it. Lander recommends the city overhaul its contract with City Bike's parent company, Lyft. Now, I mean, do you use City Bikes? Uh, it, and, and, and I have not because we have bikes in the city, right. but it's difficult to afford a bike or find mm -hmm. a place to lock one They're up. Expensive. You've used them. We You've used use them. them a lot. Yeah, no, we yeah. use them a lot. I just uh, used City Bike a couple of weeks ago. And the thing is, you do, I feel like I find more broken bikes at these stations now. You go in and you put in the code, you scan your card or whatever, swipe your card, and then it gives you a code to unlock the bike. At, oh, and then you go to the bike, and that particular one is broken, so you have mm. to go to the other one. Right. It's really interesting, too, because what, what did we say? We looked on the website. It's like $205 a year for the subscription. Yeah. Which is not yeah. bad. It's about $17 a month. Yeah, which is, which is not bad if you do the full year subscription. And, of course, City Bike is going to, you know, defend themselves. And dispute the report's findings that we just mentioned. In a statement, it has said that in a two month sample, wasn't comprehensive enough uh, for them to really, for you to fully get the idea of how they operate. City Bike also says that in September and October, the Bronx had its second highest access was the word that we have here but I want to go back to see that we dug into that it was most operational bikes of all boroughs earlier this month it announced plans to more than double its fleet of electronic bikes to meet a surging they say demand so people are back in the city people are moving around the city and as always we will find an inexpensive way even if it's beaten feet on the pavement we will get around this town without paying a lot of money because right. we have but if it, but if it's if it's an issue, a true issue to get access. Yes. Lander is actually criticizing the transportation department for not fining City Bike. Because how, how else do you improve it unless you <laughs> hit them in the pocket? So he's saying that the city could have made millions of dollars in fines and basically held city bikes feet yeah. to the fire. I mean, by, by the way, point at a time you. when the city needs the money. Right. When it doesn't need the money, but right now, especially with the micro crisis, blowing the budget over two or $12 billion over the yeah. next three years, it's a conversation that will continue. Uh, certainly something that, you know, the comptroller is saying we can leverage that contract because it's a contract with an organization, yes. with a company. And exactly. why wouldn't you? Yeah. In, you know, when you're in the financial situation that we're in, why wouldn't you? So this is uh, a good point.